disclaimer the content maker is not responsible for any action taken in reliance on the information contained herein please contact abb for specific application in more detailed explanation and safe operation hello good day all of you today i'm going to show you the pcm 600 software abb make software to configure and use connect with the relay from the laptop or software pc so if you want to use ABB make Reliance Series Relay and configure it by connecting with the PC or laptop. Then you have to install PCM600 in your machine. So this is a PCM600 2.8. So if you want to download it from ABB website, it's completely free. So I am going to show you how to download it at first. So you will write it ABB PCM 600 2.8 download or ABB PCM 600. Then you will get some link. So after clicking on this, this PCM 600, this link, you will get directly to this page new.abb.com substation automation slash product slash tools pcf 600 so in software library and click on download you will get this page in this page if you are an abb if you have a previous registration then you can put your email and password here and log login from here so you can see there are problems logging in don't have any bb substation automation software library account please register so if you are external user then you have to register here if you have to click on it and after clicking on it you can see you will redirect it to this page register for abb substation automation software library to no registration for ABB internet required, use your ABB internet email. Okay. And for external user, you have to make an account. So put your first name, middle name, and last name here. An email address, company name, country, state, and this. Op some are optional and some are mandatory field. You have to put all the mandatory field first, then enter this text. And I have read. Well, normal this is a normal procedure for an account so create an account and after clicking create an account you can download this software so after login you can see that so many things are going on here there have pcm 600 version 2.8 installation packages release notes, installation guides product guides so many guides are here uh, so other software also so after downloading you have to install it and after installation you will you will find this software like this and then you have to click on new new projects so make a new projects and project name here and you can give a description from here click click on create button then one project will be make be made here and then you have to add this substation layer and then the voltage level layer you can rename it from here you can give a name here this substation and this voltage level suppose you can give a voltage level here and you can give a pay name day one 
so for May 1 you can give you can generic you can add feeder ID or transformer ID suppose I'm give I'm putting a transformer ID so here if you if you have a transformer ID suppose RET615 in that case you will connect this machine with RET615 with Ethernet cable with an Ethernet cable and click will click on this online configuration and if you, if you do not have any IED with you at that time you have to click on this offline configuration and click on next so uh, I will show you in another video how to add or how to uh, configure uh, this online configuration mode so in this video I am going to show you how to create an ID with offline configuration mode so this is ID protocol IEC 61850 is by default and you will uh, normally I connect this Ethernet cable with from from front port then communication configuration now defined and then click on next and this will connect this will come automatically this by default product order code will be and you can uh, if you want you can change it from here HKL anything complete IR RET615 including case so I'm giving it here then for A transformer differential with low impedance restricted at fault on HV side you can give it uh, functional application you can see LV site you can try this is the high impedance restrict at false D and functional application here uh, you have to understand one thing functional application for A and B at the D cells is some basic differences uh, let's suppose uh, like if you open this RET615 application manual you can see that from this A there is some difference Con connection diagram for the A configuration suppose you have a transformer Suppose you have a transformer with high voltage side star and low voltage side delta Y N D. In that case, you have to select this A configuration. And if you have a transformer of D Y N, high voltage side is delta and low voltage side is Y N. In that case, you have to select this B configuration. So, this configuration selecting will is somewhat a tricky part. So, I'm selecting functional application for B. Analog input output, okay, B A N. Now, serial communication, Ethernet, I C, English, large LCD, art protection. Okay, I'm going to click on it next. And standard configuration and normally now it's going it's addition 2 is running in this month now IC five version addition 2 so it will make it will have take some time So it's complete. Setup is completed. The configuration is that made for the selected ID is below. Okay, okay, okay. Finish. Click on finish. Check the technical ID from ID object context. Okay. So this two has has created here ID configuration and application configuration. So this is the application configuration and uh, normally I'm not an high-end I'm not a high-end user 
I'm just a typical user and for me this ID configuration is not that much important for me actually I just I normally use this only protection and this protection from suppose uh, these are the protection functions are here suppose this is non-directional overcurrent protection and for this if you want to see the parameter setting you can see that parameter setting from here and uh, for this function you have to click on parameter setting and if you want to see the application configuration application configuration you will see it, it will show you that logic diagrams and like this slow voltage side over construction function so uh, I will explain this later in the later part of my channel I will make a video of this explaining this okay so uh, for the parameter setting so it's so easy to understand from here operation you will click on not on if you want to make it this make make this function workable number of start phase if one out of three I'm this, this means if once in one phase the overcurrent happen then it will trip this reset delay time measurement mode DFT okay start value it's up, up to you how much how much value do you want to put here start multiplication okay upper delay time this is uh, low low still that's why the 40 millisecond is the lowest time operate delay time and operating card type I see definite time so you have to put a minimum I mean time here if you so I am not explaining everything in this video I'm just going to show you some basic functions of this I have PCM 600 okay this is a file button you can create new projects from here and open close open uh, existing projects and you can there's tools ID read parameter from ID and I okay from you don't need to go there right? basically because uh, every function of this PCM is uh, connect showing here like suppose current so look this is the parameter layer advanced parameter default layer and you can click on it basic parameters but normally 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 I am click on, on it for see to see every parameters accessible and this is setting group present vertical it can show you like this and you have to browse like this but I don't like this view so that's why I am click on uh, it is the basic um, by default and here it's you can select all parameters you can select change parameters uh, as far as I do not change anything that's why no change parameter is showing here and default parameters visible parameters hidden parameters invalid parameters okay there's so many options here and here and after any change any change of parameter you can upload this read parameter okay this is the read parameters write parameters from id and the right okay right parameters to id so if you want to uh, change any parameters and if you want to upload this parameter to your ID you can click on this button right parameter to ID so after any change or every change then you can click on this button and this parameter will be right written to your ID so this is it for this video uh, I think you will learn more from this uh, this uh, 615 technical manual technical manual in this manual you can see so many op so many helpful topics covered by this manual and I think uh, if you have time you can read it at, through all this manual and you will find it so helpful that you will uh, this all this PCM and uh, all the ID you will find so easy to understand so thanks for watching guys thank you everyone